in this step we're going to start putting things inside the room and we're going to start by creating a, a crate which gives us a, another brilliant excuse to create a cube a dual of cubes so as i said earlier i'm going to show you different ways of doing things and this time we're going to create a cube using the hot box and what the hot box is, it's something that the Maya Pros use so that they can turn off all their menus and give themselves more screen space. So when you press and hold the space bar, it brings up the, the Maya um, menus for you in this way. And you'll see that within this, you can click on create and you will have to click and hold when you're using this. And then from the polygon primitives section, you can choose cube just like we did earlier, but we're getting it from a different place now. And there is our cube. And what you'll want to do with that cube is just move it up a little bit because it's stuck in the floor um, and then what I want you to do is we're going to resize it we're going to reshape it a little bit we're going to move it into the corner of the room we're going to rotate it a little bit as well so we're going to use the three main tools all together here so first thing I'll do is I'll turn on the scale tool and this works in the same way that the move tool does you've got your three manipulators here and they will scale it on just one axis at a time like that or you can use these squares over here and that will scale it on two axes at once leaving alone the one axis that it kind of represents uh, or you can scale from the middle and that will scale on all three axes at once and often when you're scaling it is a good idea to use that middle manipulator so what I'm going to do is just scale up slightly like that and I'm also just going to make it slightly kind of oblong just so it's not a perfect cube and then I'm going to move it down just so it's kind of just up above the floor. I'll then move it over to one corner of the room. And then I'm going to just rotate it. Now, the rotate tool, again, works similarly to the other two. You've got three colored lines representing which, which axis you're using. So if I click on this one representing the Z axis, there it goes, it rotates on just the one axis. Same for this red one representing the X axis. And in this case, I want to rotate it on Y just so that it's not perfectly in line with the, the walls of the room. What you can do is you can rotate on this circle here, which will kind of rotate it based on the camera. Or even worse, is you can click somewhere in between those lines and it'll just rotate on all three axes at once, which is, just awful because you've lost control then you, you can't really rotate it in one direction it could it could go all over the place so I, I don't recommend that you do that so that's that crate in place so we've created it we have resized it moved it and rotated it that leaves the last thing to do is renaming it so we're going to go to pq1 and i'm just going to call this one crate and that's that step complete